Thomas's world tour took him everywhere rails could reach. When he visited the East Indian Railway, he was given a royal welcome from an engine named Rajiv, his controller, and members of a distinguished family. They found this great railway show to be intriguing, but seemed to enjoy Thomas's stories even more. The royal family appreciates railways, Thomas. It's why we have kept our friend Rajiv in service all these years. Thomas's next stop was the Nilgiri Mountain Railway, the only rack rail in all of India. It was there he met a beautiful engine named Ashima. She enjoyed Thomas's stories too, and had a few of her own to share. I enjoy taking coaches through the mountains, Thomas, but the truth is, I've always wanted to be a shunting engine. My controller says that an engine painted like me shouldn't be stuck in the yard all day, but he's wrong. Can you imagine being busy from morning to night? Meeting engines from faraway places? Oh, how wonderful that must be! Thomas found it quite easy to imagine indeed. On his railway, he started out as a shunting engine that dreamed of pulling coaches and going on long journeys. Before he was due to leave, Thomas met a luxury diesel engine named Noor Jihan, but she'd run into a bit of a problem. Oh no, my special coaches are still being refurbished. That means I'll be late for my safari. Would you be able to help me find some other coaches, Thomas? Of course. Thomas found the situation amusing. He was living out Ashima's dream Reliving a world he knew all too well. Oh, how about these? Hmm, they're a bit old, but I'm sure they'll do. They most certainly won't. Those coaches aren't suitable for decorated engine like us, Nurja. Calm down, Rajiv. I'm sure they'll do just fine. I agree. They look a lot like the coaches on my railway, just in different colors. In fact, even the stations here look familiar. Stay out of this, Thomas. You may be our guest, but you know nothing of royal affairs. You see, decorated engines like Nur Jahan and I... But I'm a decorated engine too. You? A decorated engine? Don't make me a laugh. Nurjan and I have been adored with the banners and ornaments. You are just a promotional advertisement on wheels. Oh. This made Noor Jihan cross. It's most unbecoming for a royal engine to speak to others this way, Rajiv. You don't have to agree with Thomas, but you should at least listen to what he has to say. Fine. Speak your mind, Thomas. Well, back on my old railway. My friend Percy and I found an old coach that was meant to be scrapped. She thought she'd never get to work again until a fire burned down a hut where some workmen lived. We suggested that she could be restored to be their new home and she proved to be really useful. So, what does that have to do with the shoddy old coaches? Well, I guess it doesn't matter if something's old or new. It's all about substance. I think that's a wonderful way of putting it, Thomas. The engines jumped in surprise. It was Cherubala, the controller of the railway. She had heard everything. Rajiv, your decorations are a symbol of regality and wealth. 
But Thomas here has riches beyond our wildest dreams. Those riches are his adventures. Adventures? All Thomas has done on his world tour is tell all sorts of silly stories. Stories are a way we connect with one another. Thomas has shared his world with us, just like we've shared our world by inviting him to our railway. There's a lot you can learn from Thomas, Rajiv, if you keep an open mind. I see. <clears throat> On behalf of the royal family and my crown, I apologize for being so rude, Thomas. Noor Jahan, you best get coupled up and get you a safari on time. I will. Goodbye, Thomas. Thank you. Goodbye. See you both soon, I hope. Before moving on to his next adventure, Thomas made one last stop. <laughs> that Rajiv is something else. He's always telling engines what they can and can't do. In fact, when I told him I wanted to be a shunting engine, he teased me for trying to be someone I wasn't. <laughs> well, you can only be you. How can you say that, Thomas? What if I told you that you could only be you while you were a station pilot? It makes just as much sense for me to work in a shunting yard as it does for you to have a branch line. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry, Ashima. Dreams aren't supposed to make sense, but they're a part of who we are. They're our greatest decorations, just like our stories, our fears, even our nicks and scratches. I'll miss you, Thomas. I hope my controller will allow me to come to your show. I'll miss you too, Ashima. I hope to see you there. Thomas was grateful to have made so many new friends during his travels, but he wondered if he would ever be the same. Yowza! So many deliveries! And so little time! It was lucky we found that engine in the forest, or else things would be really backed up around here. It's clear we need another engine... to do the dirty work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 